All right. Okay. Today, we are back with another BTS reaction video. I have been waiting for today since the beginning of our BTS journey. The day is finally here. The day has come, Jared. I've been waiting for this day even longer than you. I've been waiting for this since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, everybody. Jared, hold on. No, 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 no. I've been waiting for this day since I was sitting in the womb with you, Jarn. We weren't even born yet. I don't know if we were sitting in the womb together, but I think we, I think you were upside down. Yeah, I was actually upside down. That's another story, Jared. We often yeah. go on tangents here. The reason we are here with all of you beautiful people mm. is because it's cypher time. I don't know if that's the cypher dance, Jordan. I, I think the cypher dance is. No, 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 no. Jared, 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 Jared. That is not the cypher dance. This is the real cypher dance, Jared. <laughs> I'm ready for that again. I was expecting to get that water bottle blowing everywhere from Dechita. Ah. But that song had a little different feel. Yeah. Crazy song, but it did not warrant grabbing the water bottle. Yeah. Jared, we've listened to Dang, Uh, all these classic banger of hip hop rap line songs so far. Yeah. Right? But there's been the ever elusive ciphers just hanging over our heads. Yeah. Jordan, people have literally been telling us ciphers one through four. Yes. Since the time we began. Now, we listened to the entirety of Cypher 3. Yes. We heard that at the Busan concert. And we also heard a snippet of Cypher 2, Sugar's part, which was absolutely insane. Yeah. But we haven't listened to all of them at one time, nor have we broken down the lyrics behind these ciphers, yeah. which we will be doing today, everybody. Yes. And we have also listened to Cypher 1, believe it or not, ah. when we watched Hobie Palooza. Because J-Hope, we are told, performed Cypher 1 at Hobie Palooza. I forget what that sounds like, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for that. It almost feels like Cypher 1 is separate from the rest, right? A lot of people have been requesting ciphers two through four right but cipher one it almost feels like it may have a different sound different feel we'll have to see yeah and then cipher four will be completely new to us um i am hoping that that evokes some emotion and energy that i have never felt before well we already know what cipher three did to us yes Jared. and we'll get to that but today jared it's time we pay respect to each cipher individually. Yes. And just to give ARMY out there an overview of how we're going to structure today's reaction. Yes. Here on YouTube, we're going to be reacting to each cipher individually, the, the sound of it. We're going to pull up the lyric videos. Yep. And then we're going to get into the lyrics for each cipher. Yes. And break those down. And then we will be hosting what we're calling the ultimate live experience. The ultimate live cipher experience. Everybody. Over on our Patreon. Which you can access right now. We've opened it up early for all of you. Right now on our Patreon, you can find our reactions to the cipher medley. And live performances for each individual cipher, one, two, three, four, as well as V's mm. insane Your guy. performance of cipher three. I, it, I mean, it doesn't get any better to be honest. Right? <laughs> like it's today, too good. today's that day. It's to too good. Today's that day. But I will say. Make sure you watch this video first, everybody. Yes. Because you don't want to miss our chronological analysis of these ciphers. And then you can go over on to Patreon to experience 
the ultimate live cipher experience. Ultimate live experience. Jared, let's jump right in, buddy. All right. We have a few comments we're going to read. Jared, you want to start us off? Yes. So the first comment comes from one of our YouTube subscribers, Ayman Mala. And Ayman writes, just a heads up, you guys are not ready for the ciphers. Mm. Would suggest to listen to them in order and together. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yep. Um, Ayman thinks we're not ready. I don't know if we're ready. I wasn't ready when we heard Cypher 3, Jared. Yeah, this comment was written two months ago, around the time we reacted to BTS's song, No. Okay. Um, so we may have not been ready at that point, but I feel like we're ready today, John. I, we're more ready yeah. than we were, yeah. but I still don't think I'm ready. Thank you, Ayman. The next comment comes from Yulaine Souza. Yulaine says, you need to react to the four ciphers with lyrics. They are a response to the haters ah. and also see their medley performing. The ciphers is a surreal energy. It couldn't be different, right? We're talking about the biggest rappers in the industry. Yulaine's got a good point. We are talking about the biggest rappers in the industry, in the K-pop industry, but arguably <laughs> in the industry at, <laughs> at large, Jared. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to uh, react to the four ciphers with the lyrics. We're going to read the lyrics. And we're going to check out the medley performance. So stay tuned, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Yulaine. Yes. Thank you, Yulaine. The next comment comes from one of our patrons, Buana Maria. And Buana writes, they left it all on the stage that night. Uh, I assume Buana is referring to BTS's Busan concert. Yeah. And our reaction to it. Yep. Thanks for your reaction here, guys. But I do have a question for you two. Will you do a typical Jared and Jordan reaction to this cipher eventually? Cipher three. I've been anticipating you guys breaking down the ciphers and digging into what was said and why it was said. Mm. You know, classic Jared and Jordan style. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, we're flattered, Buana, that yeah. you think we have a classic Jared and Jordan style. Yeah. I love that. Um, Today's the day. Mm. Today's the day that we will be doing whatever classic style we do to these ciphers. Yep. And I don't know if you knew this, Jordan, but Buana wrote in and said mm. that it was her birthday this week. On the 17th. On the 17th of November. So Buana, this reaction is for you. Happy birthday to you, Buana. Happy birthday. Yes. Classic Jared and Jordan style coming up. Jared, we have one last comment from Michelle Tetsky. Tetsky. Yeah. Another one of our patrons. And Michelle writes, the cipher medley is great, but please watch each separate cipher first. You could do the separate lives and then lyric breakdowns. The medley gives you a good nibble of each cipher, but to get the full flavor, you need to taste all of them separately. Mm. That makes sense. They are a rap feast. I love that term. Remember, your army family willingly and happily watches long videos, as you know, LOL. Keep doing exactly what you're doing because you're doing it right. Love both of your positivity determination and hard work ethics be well be strong and remember to love yourself mm. thank you so much michelle we love you and we hope that you are remembering to love yourself as well yes now jared michelle says these are a rap feast yeah the ciphers are a rap feast i don't think i've ever had a rap feast before but I'm prepared. I have my fork and I have my knife and I have all my utensils and my nappy napkin. My nappy nap I'm going to put right here because I am prepared for this rap feast, everybody. And Michelle also says, Army's willing to watch long videos. So yes. today is going to be a very, very long video, everybody. 
Yeah, today is going to be a very, very long video of watching us with our napkins on, our <laughs> utensils. <laughs> yeah. We're going to follow Michelle's advice of watching the Cypher medley after because, as Michelle says, the medley gives you a good nibble of each Cypher. Yeah. And we don't want just a good nibble of each <laughs> Cypher. We want the full flavor, right? Yeah. When you eat that Thanksgiving meal, Jordan, yeah. do you just want a nibble of the mac and cheese, the, the turkey, the gravy, the stuffing, or do you want to experience the full flavor mm. of each of those foods? I oftentimes want to experience the full flavor together, <sighs> right? I, you mix the mac and cheese with the mashed potatoes and a piece of chicken. It tastes different. A little bit of gravy on top. It tastes different than just some chicken or turkey with gravy on top of it. Okay, well, for you have just completely destroyed the, na <laughs> the analogy here. <laughs> so we're sorry, right. Michelle. Jordan may enjoy nibbles better, but we're going to follow your advice nonetheless. Yeah. All right, Jordan, enough talking, man. All right. It is time. We're going to start with Cypher 1. Let's jump all the way in. We are now entering the danger zone. Before each of these ciphers, we're going to look them up on BTS Wiki. Yes. Just to see what album they're from and when they were released. So BTS Cypher 1. First of all, there's a warning up here that says there are lyrics and swear words, which may not be suitable for some viewers. If you are comfortable with this, feel free to stay. Otherwise, you should navigate away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're staying. But again, yeah. if anybody out there is unfamiliar with the ciphers and needs to navigate away immediately, please do so now. So it says BTS Cypher One is a song by RM, Sugar, and J-Hope, also known as the rap line of BTS. It was released on September 11th, 2013, and appears as the seventh track for their first mini album, Oh, Are You Late To? So this is from 2013, Jude. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go, Jordan. All right. This is Cypher One, and here's the lyric video. Let's go. Damn hip boost. I don't rap or cut that bullshit. Jacky Bonds and I don't see shit. I'm your nine moose shit. Shoot that down when it gets gone. They hit him a pew. She will touch my moose sheet. Back them more than a need to eat. How you kill me? So bring the monster bag on this track. My monster swag. So this is the monster track. It's my freaking monster rap. Hyun that pan hong the jong the jong. But poke the top of my test. I'm the leader. So I'm a leader. Egon said that your jam set. Yeah, I'm the top of the top of the top. Still be popping and rocking and stopping and blocking and like the cock to your signs on my gun. Be good with my big cousin, I'm freaking darn. We have some gobble to my cause every kick is my freaking son. Nah, wall like Ron there. But now I'm a Marty, you rappers. Try to dead or sort of body go, then I'm a Marty, you haters. Try to not rock, we come out of one. No got each top five. Rap monster, Ron, that lead the ram on the eye. I suck yo. I suck yo. I'm a whole from BTS. Some gonna follow. They got a song, a lead tweet, bad mood. They get all your net flow. Come on, be tag on me, moment. Check what kind of got us on the ill. We check it back in the days. Now I go, now I go, rhyme the more like the night. Go, cause I go, but I'm going to a hint and I have the night. They didn't pull your juke track beside for it. So they pull it back. I'm more both the minors. Can I know I'm now that a major? Uh, the TV screen and the chair. What, uh, rap a custom, no, couple more go. The better, they got one hot and gossip. Then take a mother, got to wish you down. They got plum and bell on guys on cheese, you can. The pebble and body, the side under the dream more. Jump to hip pushing punch in the game. We chase hope and punch it. Now I'm a pill, but to me, and jog your shit. We are full of proof of the hand bang and nugget cheek. Also, from that, I didn't chill your pan and I just jumped on your pocket. But I met Padre Machine and Poke. I don't man, I'm bit weird. So, show pain and joy. I'm done. Tonight, I'm putting a more tap on ever. My attitude, the name and talk. Sugar, sugar. No sugar, sugar. Ooh. Just RM and J-Hope. Wait a minute. That was intentional? Interesting. I don't know. They just left off with that. There was no like outro or anything. Yeah. 
What did you think about about Cypher One? How did it make you feel? Cypher One brought me back to somewhat of an old school hip hop mm-hmm. feel. Yeah. Right? A Nas. Mm. Um I don't want to go as far back as say a KRS one, but you know, that spitting, it's more centered around the lyrics, right? Mm. Rather than any intense beat that is going to right. make you go crazy. Right. What makes you go crazy here is the fact that the lyrics are not ending, right? The bars just keep coming. Yeah. And I was unable to keep up mm-hmm. with the lyric video. That's how fast they were going. Right. And I, f- I think it's only going to get faster Ugh. as we progress. Yeah. But yeah, that's spot on. I think it felt like a cipher. Yeah. Yes. Like when you think of the word cipher, it's people freestyling. It's people going around a circle, a cipher circle. Yes. And each having a different freestyle. And I loved when they scratched J-Hope in. That's what made mm. it feel like the, the old school cipher to me. I couldn't keep up. One thing that RM said, top of the top. Yeah. You're, they're boasting. This is their time to shine. This is their time to talk to their haters. Yeah. Talk to people. He said, idol? Something like, idol? Stop that shit. I'm not just an idol and we're, we're not just going to keep saying this over and over and over again. We're going to show you. And I believe RM listed his top five. Ah, he was saying, but then he said, your dad. Uh, yeah. yeah. At the I, end. I think it started off with Rap Monster, maybe. Yeah. And it ended with your dad. What does that mean? I'm wondering if he is saying that I'm, I'm your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Should we find out? Let's go. Let's go. Let's head on over to Dual Set, everybody. Okay, so according to Dual Set, Cypher One was produced by Supreme Boy. Mm-hmm. It was written by Supreme Boy, RM, Sugar, and J Hope. And Interesting. it simply begins Damn, Hip Hop Pride, Idol Rapper, Cut That Ember. And the wordplay here is that this word is literally the seed of fire and is used as a metaphor for a small thing that can spark up something bigger. Ah. The pronunciation of this word or letter, yep. bolsi, is similar to bullshit, okay. which justifies the placement of cut that BS. Cut it out. Okay, so within the first two lines, Jordan, we're already getting into some wordplay. Some metaphor use, yeah. Yeah. Cut that ember. Cut it out. Idol rapper. Yeah. I'm not just an idol rapper. Stop saying that to me. Yeah. I'm a rapper. Exactly. An artist. Saying my essence is a idol. You look down on me. Mm. You give away your principles and spinelessly laugh at my name. You who only know about watering things down and belittling others. How you kill me. So I bring the monster back. My monster swag. So this is the monster track. Because of my freaking monster rap. Okay. That's some English uh, rhyming right there. Mm. Rap monster in full effect right here. The Hong Gildongs Mm. of the modern era. You see a good thing and can't even say you like it. And the Mm. note here is that Hong Gildong is the main character of the story of Hong Gildong. Born as a child of a concubine, he could not call his father father and his hyung, who is the legitimate son of his father, hyung. What is a concubine? I'm not sure. Okay, let's look that up. Let's look it up. Okay, so a concubine in polygamous societies Mm. is a woman who lives with a man but has lower status than his wife or wives. A a mistress. A mistress. Or lover. Okay. Born as the child of a concubine. So born as the child of a mistress. Okay. Hong Gildong could not call his father father and his hyung hyung. Because he's born... As a child of a concubine. Yeah. That's just a no. I think they're just okay. educating us. RM's line here, the Hong Gildongs of the modern era, you see a good thing and can't even say you like it. 
who's the Hong Gildongs of the modern era? Is he saying they are? Yeah. Because they, similar to Hong Gildong, yes. can't call RM and J-Hope and Sugar the best rappers in the industry. Yeah, and I'm, we don't even have to go that far. Yeah. They can't even admit that they see a good thing and that they like it. That they like it. Right? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. RM continues, the third generation leader. So I'm a lead you. This is a transition of generations. And the note here is that BTS belongs to the third generation of Korean idols. Okay. 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 So RM continues, I'm saying, yeah, I'm the top of the top of the top. Ooh. That line stuck out to me when uh, the song was playing. Yeah. Popping them, rocking them, stopping them, blocking them like Cassius Lance. I'm a Don, don't turn off the beat because I'm not freaking done. And this is all in English, right? Yeah. For the most part. Who's Cassius? Is he talking about Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali? Uh, maybe. I mean, who else would be popping, rocking, and stopping them? <laughs> Cassius Clay, I think. What, Lance? Yeah, that Lance. That trips me up. Or Cassius is Lance. Cassius is La Lance or Lance? Lance. Because right here he says done. That doesn't really rhyme with. Yeah. Let's search up really quickly the word <laughs> Lance. Okay. Because we know who Cassius Clay is. Yeah. Ah. Cassius' weapons draw on his hands. Is he talking about his hands? Because this, a Lance, it says a long weapon for thrusting, having a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head, formerly used by a horseman in charging. Yeah. But what are Cassius's Lance? Let's search that up real quick. Lance is. Lance is. Unless he's talking about a different Cassius. I don't know. I'm, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory in my mind, right? When you're the best boxer in the world, yeah. what are your weapons? Your hands. That your makes hands. sense. Cassius's Lance are his hands. That may, that would make sense. Yeah. But I'm wondering if he's talking about a different Cassius. Okay. Because of the definition of Lance. Yeah. See? The spear of Cassius. Okay. You, right? Uh, you're correct on this one, Jar. Well, I thought it was Cassius Clay at first. It could be a double entendre here. Wow. Look, look. It could be a double entendre that yeah. they didn't give us the note for. Ah. Jared, with RM and them, it's always deeper. They're talking about history here. Yeah. So it says the spear of Cassius is a spear-like artifact from the rebuild of Angelian film series. From the rebuild of Angelian's film series. Originally known as a spear, the spear of Cassius is one of six spears brought to Earth along with the Adams and Lilith during the first two impacts. Like its counterpart, the Spear of Longinus, it is predominantly dark red with a double helical shaped shaft. However, it also has a defined spearhead with a thin green gem in its center. So RM is saying, popping them, rocking them, stopping them, blocking them like Cassius's Lance, the spear, Jared. Yeah. I'm a Don, don't turn off the beat because I'm not freaking done. Makes sense now. That makes complete sense. Jordan, this is why RM, mm -hmm. J-Hope, and Suga are among the best rappers in the world. Yeah. Right? It, it's incredible. At first glance, for both of us, for me in particular, I thought, okay, he's talking about Muhammad Ali. He's talking about Muhammad Ali's hands. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for digging deeper due to the RM sensors that went off in your mind that something here must be deeper than just Cassius Clay. They were tingling. Because, Jordan. Yeah. Right. Jared, we're only on Cypher 1, by the All way. Right. Let's continue. Yeah, like this is, it's going to get crazy. Mm. Don't play around on the beat because every kick is my freaking zone. I'm usually generous, but I'm a murder your rappers. I'm going to cut you one by one, then I'm a murder you haters. Now look at me and tell me, who are your top five? Rap Monster, Rhonda, Leader, Rapmon, your daddy. <laughs> There's a note that says Runch, Rhonda, 
was Rap Monster's stage name as an underground rapper, Jared. He's saying, your top five is me. Yes, I, I make yes. up every single one of your top five. Yes. And that last one right there, I'm your father. Yeah. No, no, I no, birthed no. you. No, 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 no. I'm your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a slight difference there. But like, I love it, Jared. Oh, gosh. I love it. Okay, and this looks like where J-Hope hops in. Is this where he hopped in? It's Hope World from BTS. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we go up really quickly? Yeah. Uh, when RM says, I'm going to cut you one by one, mm. then I'm a murder you haters. Torture. Jordan? Yeah. That brings me right back to Suga in Digita. Ah, right. Beheading. It got it got pretty gruesome. It did, Jared. right? About chopping things up, chopping body parts. I mean, uh, seems like a, a a common sentiment. Yeah, and if you haven't already watched our reaction to Deji Ta, check that out right here. It's live on YouTube, and we have an extended analysis on Patreon as well. All right, let's hear what Hope has to say. It's Hope World from BTS. Everyone follows me. My possibility gets retweeted. I announce my flow to everyone. It flows through your eardrums and fills up your body. I sharpened my knife for tomorrow. Get back in the days. My age was one thing, but I was also a kid who didn't even know what a rhyme is. Hmm. I was just one of those kids in Guangzhou who wanted to become an idol. Yeah, let me show you now. In the cipher on this track, I reveal my ambition. I'm above the minors. Yeah, a major, unlike you. Uh, I fill the TV screen. Uh, rapper costume? No, after wiping away the bubbles, I spit out what I've wanted. Wherever I go now, it makes an issue. That okay, so a lot of bars <laughs> with no notes for us here yeah but a lot of self-explanatory bars yeah i loved when he did the ugh yeah like that seems to be one of j-hope's uh go-to moves yeah like uh, are uh. those are those ad libs yeah but not necessarily ad libs after the fact right yeah he's doing it in the middle of his rapping right which adds even more effect yep this line right here yeah no like he says rapper costume no after wiping away the bubbles, I spit out what I've wanted. Mm. What does he mean by wiping away the bubbles? I have not one clue, but <laughs> when you read that line, the first thought that came to my mind yeah. was of a rabid animal. Okay, that was not the first thought. That was not even the second thought. Like came foaming at the mouth. After wiping away the bubbles, <laughs> I spit out what I've wanted. I, uh, I thought of like champagne. Like you know how like when you pour uh, something, bubbles appear yeah or even alcohol beer after wiping away the bubbles i spit out what i wanted i don't know how that would make sense yeah. but basically jared he's spitting out what he really wants to say yeah. to people and how he really feels and this is not a rapper costume everybody this is the real yes this is real yeah if your stomach hurts go to the hospital it'll <laughs> take two weeks to recover and the note here reads one stomach hurts is synonymous to one is jealous. Ah, ah okay. okay. Everyone who hoped for my defeat holds the back of their neck. The nape of their neck? <laughs> you remember we learned about I that. I do remember that, Jim. And the note here reads, one would hold the back of their neck when they get extremely angry or mm. surprised by something completely unexpected. A cliche in Korean dramas. That makes sense. Okay. In this game where hip hop pride overflows, J Hope is a foul. And the note reads foul as a cheat code in video games. Do you understand that? Yes. What's that mean? J Hope's a cheat code. Mm. In this game where hip hop pride overflows, Jared, everybody's prideful. J Hope is a cheat code. I see. Is foul a common term that you're familiar with? No, absolutely not. Okay. So foul as a cheat code in video games. Interesting. I haven't served my military duty, 
but my hobby is sniping. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, J Hope, he looks like a sniper, Jared. <laughs> Oh boy! Remember we used to he play, does. He play does. Uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, and you just like any game, Gears of War. Oh my gosh! And you used to like never, it takes. Never got into Halo, but yeah, loved the real games like Call of Duty. Yes, yeah, but more so than like just being a killer. You have to have accuracy when you're a sniper. You have to. Ooh. You have to have skill, actual yeah. skill. Not everybody can snipe. Yes. Sniping is my hobby. And it takes many, many years mm. to be a good sniper. Yes. I gave them a punch with We Are Bulletproof. Mm. Clumsy dummies respond, feeling guilty. Keep exploding your inferior complex. The resolution of my pronunciation is 4K. Ooh. I'm dope, man. That's a bar right there, Jared. That's a bar. That We have a bar alert. And hopefully you guys are watching this in 4K or higher. Right <laughs> well, no, no, no. They're not going to be. It's most likely going to be 1080p. 1080p. Got it. So, Jared, he's saying his resolution of the words he's saying yeah. is, is very clear. It's yeah. 4K. Yes. It, it's, it's very clear to see and hear I'm dope. Yeah, it's clear, it's crisp, mm. right? And it's the best, Jordan. Yeah. Right? It's it's dope. Well, maybe back when they wrote this, 8K wasn't available. Ah. I think there's there's more than just 4K. Okay. Now, on the beat, I'm a chopping. I never change. From when I was born, I was born rapper. Mm. And the wordplay here is that this term can't do is pronounced mote or mate. Mm -hmm. I never change from when I was born. I can't do it. Born rapper literally meaning inside mother's womb is used when someone is a born something. I never change since before when I was born, I'm a born rapper. And born singer, Jared, BTS's rendition uh, of J. Cole's song, yeah. Born Sinner, is one of my favorite BTS songs. Yeah. And you know, this was right around the time that they uh, recorded that. Yep. All right, let's finish this off, Jared. My attitude is my mentor. That line, oh. even if you chew and bite me off, I'm a memento. Ooh. And you see how they change the colors here? Mento. Mento and mento in both words. Show me your hip-hop pride, the feeling of powerlessness you have from seeing me. Hide your jealousy. Your IP might show your IP address. Yeah. So you can, you can hide your jealousy, but your IP might show. <laughs> if you keep typing. <laughs> oh. No. Or he's saying, hide your jealousy. Your IP might show because... You're a keyboard warrior. You're behind okay. a screen. You're a netizen. That's it. That's what it is, Jared. I'm a boiler. I became hot instantly. Like a spoiler. You became predictable without. Ooh. Huh. I fixed the helplessly stupid hip-hop losers in this pop scene that has grown in size without fundamentals. It's tough to coexist. So just rap as a hobby. The world is going to the dogs. If you feel guilty, try harder. What? Okay. It's really, really difficult for me to wrap my mind around the fact that this was created in 2013. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. It was on their, their first mini album. Yeah, like the bars in here, <sighs> the wordplay, uh, it's just on another level. And if you're telling me that this level of lyricism yeah. got even two times better. Oh my God, Jared. In Cypher 4, like when we get to Cypher 4, oh. then we may as well call it a day right now, Jordan, because <sighs> we are going to explode. Well, Iman was right, Jared. 
and Iman tried to give us a heads up. Yeah. You guys are not ready for the ciphers. Ah. It takes a lot to get ready. And you said, you know, we, we may be ready now at this point. I would argue we're still not ready. And I don't know if anybody is ever ready mm. to listen to these ciphers. So you were joking when you said you were born ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I was joking. Jared, this is crazy. Yeah, This was only the first one. People don't even mention this one often when they when <laughs> talk about the ciphers. You just sounded like an Italian pizza restaurant owner. This was only the first one. <laughs> This was only the first one. Tony. Oh, and that reminds me. Tony Montana by Sugar and Jimin. Army, do you want to see us react to Tony Montana? If you want to see Tony Montana, write it in the comments below. God. All right, it's time to move on, Jordan. We have Cypher 2. I'm ready, Jordan. I I'm ready. This is what we heard in Rise of Bangtan. And we had to replay it a few times. But now we can play it all the way through and dissect Cypher 2. And I just have a quick comment from one of our viewers. Amu Amuz yes. says, fun trivia. In Cypher 2, live performance, Yumi raps 114 syllables in a single breath. Ugh. Now, if that is true, if what Amu is saying is true, Jared, and I don't doubt that because we heard a snippet of sugar rapping in a single breath then i might just fall out of my chair well we already heard it well we heard a snippet we did not hear the entire verse did we we may have heard that jordan because i remember in in rise of bangtan yeah the cypher two snippet that they played we saw sugar spitting just and then he ends it with yeah 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 and that's him taking another breath right oh, or releasing God. oh boy I just have to say once again, those live performances along with the Cypher medley are live on our Patreon right now. You can decide to leave, dip out, and go watch those now. Or you can watch them after we dissect the rest of the Cyphers. But Cypher 1 is complete. Yes. Cypher 2, step up to the plate. Batter up. Jerry, let's go back to BTS Wiki before we jump into this song. Okay, so according to BTS Wiki, Cypher Part 2 Triptyke, or Triptych, mm -hmm. which we've heard some people pronounce it as, which sounds similar to Cryptic. Mm. Cypher Part 2 is a song by RM, Sugar, and J-Hope, also known as the rap line of BTS. It was released on February 12th, 2014, and appears as the seventh track for their second mini album, School Love Affair, and as the ninth track in the repackaged album, School Love Affair Special Edition. Okay. okay. So we're jumping a year. Yeah, jumping a year. And wasn't Cypher 1 also the seventh track on OR You Late 2? Let's see. Seventh track. I wonder if there's any meaning there. Ooh, good catch, Jared. Seven members. I don't know. Mm. But it is a rap line cipher. Yeah. Oh, that's a good catch right there. School Love Affair. So we went from Oh Are You Late 2 to School Love Affair. Yes. Are you ready? I was ready before I was born. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is Cypher Part 2 Triptych. Triptych or Triptych. Here we go. Strap injured. <laughs> I'm gonna try to read the lyrics. Still that cypher feel. Yeah. Uh, it's the Right here. Right here. 
follow the leader， 七根不折扣。Ah! Right, 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 right. Here it comes, Jordan. This is where the beat and everything changes. I can't. I can't. I need to hear Shuka. Jordan, please, Jared. Please, beg me. <laughs> Keep it going, please, Jared. <laughs> hey, Jared. Hey, Jared. Please. I don't know if I can. Hi, you can. You can. We're, we have lyrics. Mean, we have lyrics. What do you mean I can? Hey, Jared. Hey, sugar girl. Is it sugar? Sounds like Jay Hope a little. Jared, don't pause. I gotta pick up my book. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't even I get know. it now. I don't even know anymore. I get it now. What do you get? Jared? I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. What do you get? I get it now. You know how we've been saying that, Jordan? Mm -hmm. Like when when these moments come where we we say, look, 
Look, look at me. I get it now. I get it now. Okay, what do you what do you understand? I'm the, I'm just a little tired. I've been punched. I, I understand. Army now. Yeah. Jordan, 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 Jordan. How many times? How many times does Army have to tell us that? Huh. Pull it together, Jordan. Pull it together. Cipher two. Cipher three. Cipher four. Hey, Jared and Jordan. The ciphers are going to destroy you guys. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. That's what they meant. Okay. I now know what the feeling of feeling destroyed mm. means. I now have just felt that feeling. I just felt that feeling. I just felt that feeling. And I can honestly say, I can honestly say, this is the first time that I have felt the feeling of being destroyed destroyed dang yeah was the first time i felt the feeling of uh what's going on here it was almost like like it brought us to that top but it still allowed us to say dang right ha ha right dang it gave you some predictability yeah right it allowed you to predict when the next dang was coming mm mm-hmm. mhm Mm. Great this point. right here has zero predictability Great point. other than J-Hope's chorus slash interlude slash breath. Because when I hit that pause button, Jordan, yeah. I thought Sugar was about to come in right away. I see. And if I knew J-Hope was going to give us that time to breathe, mm. I wouldn't have paused it. Mm. Okay. But mm. this, my friend, destroyed me. That's what we're both feeling right now. We haven't felt this yet. No. This is this is a serious feeling right here. And it makes sense why everybody's saying we're not ready. It's not because of the fact that the song sounds good. It's not because you're going to walk out of here and just say, oh my God, that was the greatest song I've ever heard. Yeah. No, 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 Jared. Yeah. This is multidimensional stuff that's going on here. These These songs are layered. They're ciphers. BTS distinguished the ciphers. There's four of them. They said this right here is in its own category. These aren't just ballads or melodies or songs to just sing along to, guys. So, like, make sure when you listen to these ciphers, you're really ready to listen. Ooh. And mind you, we've been preparing for this moment for <laughs> many months. And we heard snippets, Jared. Yes. We heard snippets of this. And, and it didn't do it justice. Jordan, in all honesty, if we hadn't heard any snippets, yeah. the both of us would not be sitting here right now. We would have been gone the moment RM's verse ended, right? Because yeah. we, we wouldn't have been able to take it. Since we did get that taste... Of Sugar's verse, Jordan, mm. ahead of time. I think that allowed us to stay sitting in these chairs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't take notes. I couldn't even pay attention anymore because of how sonically pleasing. This is one where it's like, okay, this is sonically pleasing. There's too much going on. The beat switches. J-Hope started on like a classic cypher beat. Yes. An old school. It sounded so good. And then they upped the pace, Jared. Yeah. It's like a, like a dial that went up. And RM just started like flame spitting. He, he started spitting like a dragon, mm. Jared. That made you pause. Yeah. And I said, please don't pause it. We have the best yet to come, Jared. Ah. Like people go to Cypher 2 for sugar, mm. Jared. They go to hear him spit 114 syllables in a single breath, if that is the case. I hope it is. It sounded like it because you heard him at the end. You know, he had to take those breaths. And then he said, yeah. The snippet we heard, we didn't hear Sugar take those breaths. Right. We just heard him say, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You had a point with this song being the seventh track. Yeah. I don't think that's for no reason. J-Hope said a lot about BTS members. We are seven wolves. I think that's what he said, Jared. 
He said, there's seven of us. He went down the line. He said, RM, you know, is this. J-Hope is this. Sugar is this. But BTS were seven wolves. Ah. Track seven. I'm not even going to try to dissect anything lyrically right now. We have to jump into these lyrics right now, Jared. Immediately. I agree. Because if you asked me if I could remember one yeah. word of either RM's verse or Sugar's mm. verse, I couldn't even give you one word. One word. You were just in a, in a trance. I was in a trance. My reading comprehension was completely destroyed. Yeah. That's what it does to you, man. And it's only going to get more intense from here. Uh, are, do you know, know that this. for a fact? Like We heard Cypher 3, Jared. Oh, my God. We heard it. Do you, I want to ask you this question. Do you think Cypher 4 is going to top all of this? I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Only because people have directed us to Cypher 2 and Cypher 3. Yeah. And Cypher then, 1 and 4 seem to be like the ones that people leave out when they recommend. Ah, okay. So I don't know. The reason I ask is because, Jordan, the only Cypher we have not heard any of is Cypher 4. Ah, that's true. Because we heard Cypher 1 during Hopi Palooza. Yeah. Right? So I, I'm a little scared, to be honest, of Cypher 4 if it is... Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared, Jer. There's nothing to fear here. You know, I'm here for you. I got you. Okay. Okay. Let's jump right into these lyrics, everybody. Because, Jared, if we're mind blown right now, wait till we see what they just said. You understand? Can That's we... why people go to the ciphers, Jared. This is, this is not just spitting. As soon as we finished listening to Cypher 2, I was going to ask you if we could replay it. No. We have, <laughs> we have Cypher Medley. We have the live performances. I, Jared, I... I don't mean to make the final decisions here. I just know we have a lot to get through. I agree. Good decision. You ready? Do you need to regroup? Can I use the bathroom quick? Okay. Use the bathroom. We'll be right back, everybody. And we're back. And we're back, everybody. And ready to get into these lyrics. You doing a little better? I'm doing better. I no longer have the pressure of my bladder mm. pushing up against my other organs mm. so I can finally breathe now. <sighs> okay, let's jump into the lyrics for Cypher 2, Jared. Here we go. Okay, so according to Dual Set, Cypher 2 was produced by Supreme Boy. Written by Supreme Boy, RM, J Hope, and Suga. And are these notes to begin with? Yeah, it looks like it. So, note number one reads The official lyrics are censored. For example, bucket should be ah, uh, beat should be, etc. Okay, but they said. F it and the B word in their lyrics. Got it. But the dual set lyrics are censored. Got it. Okay. Well, I did see the words bucket and beat in the lyric video though. Ah, okay. So, but everything is pretty clear when you actually listen to the song mm. or watch their live performance. Note number two, I cannot but think that Suga's part references and targets be free. In November 13th, RM and Suga, along with Be Free, were invited as guests to an open recording of Kim Bong Hyun's. Mm. Hyun's. We're going to get this Korean pronunciation right eventually. We are. We promise, Army. We yep. know you always send wonderful how to mm. uh, comments about how to pronounce certain words. And for some reason, we just fail to, to comprehend. We're going to comprehend soon, Jared. Yes. And I think Army's going to like what we have in, in store for them. Yes. So they were invited as guests to an open recording of Kim Bang Hyun's Hip Hop Invitation, a podcast of Kim, who is a hip hop music critic. 
Mm. I don't want to, and I won't go into the details, but we'll leave some links for those who want to know more. First, a video clip of the above mentioned podcast and a Reddit post explaining the situation. Is that the radio interview that we watched? I believe it is. Let's just make sure here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the this is the full Ooh. version, Jorn. We never saw the full version. They no. only had clips in uh, Rise of Bantan. Yeah. Oh, I am very interested in watching this full version at some point. We might have to or we might not. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if I want to see these dudes' oh, okay. faces yeah. anymore. You know, it's just like disrespectful, arrogant, and nobody's. Yeah. I did have a feeling when we saw this in the Rise of Bangtan mm -hmm. that we would eventually make our way back to this. Mm. So I think it's a must. Okay. We'll watch it at some point. Okay. So the third note reads... RM mentioned that it took a very long time for him to sculpt the lyrics. Ooh. I had to add many notes in his verse accordingly. Sculpt. Powerful word. Yeah. It's like a bodybuilder sculpting their body. Oh, I did not think of it like that, <laughs> but yeah. I thought of it as a sculptor. Mm. Someone who sculpts statues. Yeah. Or a painter. Like you, you're meticulously doing something yeah. sculpting you're chipping away yeah yeah that's the word meticulously yes rm is meticulously mm. sculpting these lyrics yeah man i love it and it, it, it's like sculpt means you care about something yeah you're not just spitting it you're not just putting it in there for no reason you are taking time to sculpt rm mentioned that it took a very long time for him to sculpt the lyrics sculpting anything takes a long time Jerry. yeah okay and the fourth and final note here reads the unconfirmed by big hit version of rm's part he recorded with supreme boy was shared by rm himself mm. on soundcloud and on bangtan blog okay okay you want to start off these uh, lyrics i or? would be honored to <laughs> i love this so much well, this is J-Hope's part, right? And yeah. I like J-Hope's part. The song started, and I was a little confused. Because yes. what we heard in Rise of Bangtan, yep. that little snippet yeah. was a completely different beat. Right. And how this song started was with that cypher feel that mm. we got from Cypher 1. Mm-hmm. Yep. So J-Hope starts. He says, because of who? Because of J-Hope. Because of who? Because of Ratman, again, because of who? Because of Sugar. All the style and trend are because of Bangtan. A play that has begun again of the kids who lead the 21st century Halu, Halu, hmm. Halu, were seven wolves, Jared, mm. herding the sheep that are the applause. I almost thought that said applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Applause. We tow away the broken wraps we see from now. We keep advancing a giant on the beat. This is a reference to Attack on Bangtan. Yeah. Advancing. Mm. Right? I have one question, and I know we may have to look it up, but yeah. what does how you mean? That's a good question. 21st century how you. Let's, let's look that up. Ah, the Korean wave. Is that what it means? What does how you mean in K-pop? The Korean wave. Interesting. What's the Korean wave? Okay, so the Korean wave or K-wave, literally meaning wave flow of South Korea, is the increase in global popularity of South oh. Korean culture since the 1990s. I think we heard that in the Rise of Bangtan, actually. Yeah. Now thinking back on it, when they were talking about the earlier K-pop artists and then BTS, there's yeah. been a Korean wave ah, and that has occurred. So what J-Hope is saying is that BTS is the 21st century. Ah. How you, or however that word is pronounced. Yeah. Okay. Korean. So they're the wave of today. 
Okay. So J-Hope continues. Oh, I love this part right here, Jared. Bangtan Cypher right here. Psycho right here. No matter who's in the ring, we win. Rap fighter right here. Mm. I'm high. You're by. Burning ties. We run. Fire. Hot choir. Ooh. Like Psy. We'll dominate the pop music. And Jared, if we could read these Korean words, there would be rhyme. We are, yes. you, you know how when it's translated, Jared, we don't get that rhyme. But there is rhyme in all of the words and lyrics that we read. Not only is there rhyme, Jordan, there is double rhyme, there is triple <laughs> rhyme, there is cross rhyme. Yeah, yeah. And then there's rhyming in English. It's, it's incredible. But, you know, with or without the rhyme, these lines hit. Yeah. It's like a punch. That's how I felt. I was being punched yeah. in Cypher 2. My rap, a giant. F*** your ears up right in your face. Our attack that became more violent than ever. Mm. With no need for a long speech, I explain with rap. BTS, follow the leader. Go from now on. And there's wordplay here. It says the word go hey or do go can be this word, which means confession. It says BTS follow the leader and confess from now on. Mm. Okay. Are we still on J-Hope here? It's a good question. I assume with all these notes, that's RM. Yeah, I remember RM saying bing, bing, pow, pow. <laughs> And then he says, what? Okay. Okay, Jordan. So this, I believe, is where RM makes his entrance. <sighs> An entrance it was, man. And this was where the beat changed, right? Yeah. It dialed up. And RM raps. I'm rap wiper. A total psycho. Mm. If I were a dicer, hey, I would have all the dice. Okay. Cypher, if you're nice, hey, I'm nicer. <laughs> if you're pride, hey, I'm Chrysler. Hey. Ugh. And it's so gripping, Jordan, because he's rapping in both Korean and English, yep. right? And rhyming Korean with English. It's like yeah. he's juggling. Is he talking about a, a Chrysler car? Ah. What's he mean by if you're pride, I'm Chrysler? There's no notes That's a here. good question. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Big autumn. Okay, so he's talking about Chrysler. So pride must be a, a car as well. Oh my <laughs> you're God. Pride, if you're pride. <laughs> ah. Just oh think my about, goodness. Th think about RM's haters driving around in that car right there. Now, that's nothing against a car that will get you from point A to point B. Jordan, mm -hmm. we are minimalists, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't care about fancy cars. Mm. But just think about RM's haters driving around in a Kia Pride, if that's what that car is, car is called. Yep, it is. And picture RM driving around in, in a Chrysler. In a Chrysler. And to take it a step further, if you can even take it a step further, yeah. the Kia Pride is a sub- compact car sold by the south korean automobile manufacturer mm. kia yeah chrysler it's now stellantis north america formerly known as chrysler is one of the big three automobile manufacturers in the united states mm. so he could even be saying and i may be reading into this if your pride hey i'm chrysler you stay here I get to travel the world and uh, go to North America. I'm global. I'm global. Mm. If you're local, I'm global. Ah. But again, Jared, there's these like <sighs> double, triple. You could even take it like quadruple entendres if you think hard enough. Yeah. With RM. And again, Jordan, it is so impressive because it's mixing the Korean language with the English language, the Korean culture with the English culture. Yeah. Where does it end? It, it never ends. <laughs> Jared, you know what? 
real quick, I um I came across this podcast called the Dissect Podcast, mm. and it's this guy who dissects bars. Most I think are from American artists. Yeah, he dissects bars. Ooh. I would love to see him dissect this song or Please. any BTS hip hop rap song. Please. Jared, it's it's an incredible podcast. If you're pride, hey, I'm Chrysler. Mm. That mean I'm a priceless. Oh, I'm priceless. What are you to grade my rap with your knowledge, rapper? <laughs> this place is one piece. I'm Whitebeard. And Whitebeard, a character in One Piece, is the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates okay. and the strongest man in the world. Oh, I think, is One Piece an anime? Okay, Japanese manga series. I think I've heard of One Piece before. Maybe I've never heard of that. It might have been in uh, one of the lyrics. Mm. Okay. Ooh. So, oh. He's, he, RM's white, pe white beard. The strongest man in the world. This place is One Piece. I'm the strongest man in the world. Wow. You guys are just long beards. Catfish in one word okay and note one here is discussing the rhyme between the korean terms for white beard and long beard yeah uh the second note discusses the metaphor of catfish known for its flattened head prominent barbels that resemble a cat's whiskers uh. Catfish is often used as a metaphor for an ugly person. Oh, okay. Or Megi, this term in Korean, is often used as a metaphor for an ugly person. Yeah. Uh. Catfish, right? Catfish. Yeah. Like that show on MTV, it used to be <laughs> on. Catfished. Ah, okay. Yep. That, that makes sense. You're sort of duped, but it's like yeah. you're duped with someone who doesn't look maybe as good as you thought they did yeah like you're or, catfished or who you're attracted to right right in yeah. your you know your own standards yeah who we'll, you were yeah attracted to looks are relative but you know we'll trust rm that uh you know his haters are just long beards catfish in one <laughs> word and the third note here discusses the word play mm. han madero miguel means it's catfish to put it into one word but it also sounds similar to this term where this word is a misspell slang of this word which in the context means to strike a blow to trick someone or to screw someone over mm. so it can also be i'm white beard you guys are just long beards i screw you over with one word so jared <laughs> in this one line we have rhyme, metaphor, and wordplay. Yes. I think what we can say after that is, f*** it. <laughs> Which is what RM says. Ah, <laughs> bucket. Bucket. Ah, but the explicit version is, f*** it. Mm. He, he, ha, ha, beep, beep. I go at the speed of 300 kilometers per hour. Okay. I followed the steps of becoming greater. And the wordplay here says that this Korean term, which I don't even know if I'm going to yeah, try to pronounce even, that. Don't even try it. Which literally means to polish precious stones by chiseling, oh. filing, and shining them. This is where we get that sculpting, oh. Jared. Even a reference to the sculpting. Yeah. Means to diligently and thoroughly cultivate one's learning or virtuous conduct. This term, jolcha, although it's pronounced the same as the first two letters of the previous term, means a procedure, order, step of something. All right, Jordan, yet again, yet again, we are provided with one line. Yep. I follow the steps of becoming greater. Mm. And we get all of this because the English language mm -hmm. cannot adequately convey what RM is trying to say in Korean. It never can and it never will. 
be yeah. able to. Yeah. Take over, Jar. All right. So he continues, no matter who they are, I get them all. Tombstone. And he's referencing the movie A Walk Among the Tombstones. I've never seen this. Mm. Is that Liam Neeson? Yeah. Okay. A walk among the tombstones. No matter who they are, I get them all. Tombstone. Knock, knock, knock out. Fire in the hole. Oh, I love it. It's like, it's like you throw a grenade. Fire in the hole. It's like you throw it and you just walk away. But when he says, yeah. it reminds me of Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, <laughs> who always used that word. RM uses that word a whole lot. Jim. Yeah, yeah. Bing, bing, pow, pow. I love that. Oh, so that goes with, he says, knock, out, knock, knock, knock out, fire in the hole, bing, bing, pow, pow. You cry and look for your dad. Now, is he talking about himself? I don't know. Or he's just saying, you look for your own dad. All right, more notes to get through here. He says, my voice that ever strangles the necks of rap miners. PC bang closes. It says that this word is a slang referring to the underage. And it is required by law that individuals under the age of 18 cannot stay in PC Bang after 10 p.m. Mm. Okay. Immature rappers will have to leave when I announce the time at 10 p.m. So he says, my voice that ever strangles the necks of rap miners. PC Bang closes. This is a kingdom. I'm a king. You're dumb. Now that is a, we, we understand that. That's a wordplay right there. This is a kingdom. I'm a king. You're dumb. I didn't even get that. I didn't even get that because I was confused a little bit. I'm a king. You're dumb. <laughs> I thought, okay, RM, you can do a little better than that. Oh, yeah. But then it just clicked, Jordan. King dumb. King dumb. I'm king. You're dumb. <sighs> and then there's two notes right here. King plus dumb, how we took it. And then king plus dumb spelled D-U-M, in that the Korean word written out, it spells D-U-M, an extra or a freebie. There you go, Jordan. Double entendre. Double entendre in both English and Korean. So an extra <laughs> or a freebie. You're an extra. You're, yeah. just, you're just an extra. You're an extra. You're not the main, is that what that means? Yeah. I chew and swallow your bubble gum. Extra, is, extra, read all about it. <laughs> is extra bubble gum? Oh, <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold no, up. I just came to my mind because extra, you're an extra. Jared, 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 Jared. We don't may tell be me creating bars in, in meaning. I don't yeah. know. Okay. What's extra? Please look it up and see if it's bubblegum. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, Jared. It says, look. I chew and swallow your bubblegum. Hold oh on. Gosh, I, didn't oh I didn't get there. I didn't get there. I didn't I didn't even read that line. I didn't even know that line was there. What? The you did, the, Whoa, the chew the, and swallow? Yeah. Did you did you just We just read, read it. Okay, maybe that's where the thought came from of yes. bubblegum. Of you, extra he extra. Says your bubblegum. No, I think you said extra extra right after he was talking to, we learned that that word also means extra. Army, this is what it looks like to get lost <laughs> in the ocean of bars. Yeah. Yeah, it is an ocean of bars. Literally dude. lost. Like, I'm trying to swim. Like, was I just over there? Where's north, east, west, south? Where's the sun? How do I get back to shore? We have a compass, though. Okay. This dual sets the compass. Yeah. <laughs> it's bringing us back. I chew and swallow your bubble gum. And it says, this word to chew is also to diss when used as a slang. So I diss and swallow your bubble gum. Above a running man is a flying man. We've heard that before. Yes. Then a man who's riding the flying men. Yeah. Referring to himself, I think. And the note says, this uh, phrase, above a running man is a flying man, is an idiom that means there's someone who's better than you, no matter how good you are. RM describes himself as the one riding the flying one. Uh, so he's the top of the top of the top. Top of the top. He's riding the man who's flying, Jared. Yeah. Meaning he's even better than the better one. Yes. I can't remember where we heard this before. Yeah. Maybe it was Rise yeah. of Bangtan. Maybe somewhere else. But what I do remember is that I will never forget this line. Mm. Right? I will never forget this 
this image yeah. of somebody running, somebody flying, and somebody riding the person who is flying. And it's an idiom. Yeah. That's me. B a guy even worse than rain. It's a reference to... Okay, so this is a reference to another artist song, Bad Guy. The artist Rain, their song, Bad Guy. A guy even worse than Rain. <laughs> How do you <laughs> dig into your memory bank? It just, I don't think it's a memory bank, Jordan. I think this is some sculpting. When you sit ah. down, when you sit down to sculpt, when any sculptor out there or artist mm. sits down to sculpt, do you think they're just digging into their memory bank or, or digging into their brain, Jordan? They are doing some serious research, mm. right? This okay. isn't just RM being brilliant. I think that the sculpting here involves digging into your memory bank, yes, but it also involves research. Yeah. It also involves planning, strategy, getting input from others, revision. It involves an entire sculpting process. Mm. His history, his pop culture references, yeah. his car company references. Like, what are we talking about? Extra? What are, Bubble we, gum? what are we talking about, Jared? Oh my gosh. What is on RM's you got verse, the, You got the word extra from the Korean word, D-U-M. Yeah. And somehow you twist that into a reference to extra bubble gum. I don't know, man. And he uses the last bar in the, in the next bar. Yeah. It's like, it's insane. And again, Jared, this is only RM's verse. We need to get the sugars. So I'm going to try to pick the pace up real okay. quick. I just hang you up like a rag. I play you and rip apart your eardrums at once. Boom, boom, boom. And it says the word play here. This word means I only hang it up. But changing the placement of space, this word or phrase now would mean I deceive you. This word, a rag, often has a negative connotation since it's supposed to be dirty and is also a slang for s mm. I just hang you up like a rag. I play you and rip apart your eardrums at once. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. All right. When does sugar start, Jared? My goodness. This is, I mean, this is just. Oh, this is absurd. Yeah, this is. Oh, boy. Oh, this is absurd. It's incredible. And I. Okay, RM continues. This is my curse of dawn. And the reference here is to a movie, Dawn, Dawn of, the, of the, Dead. the Dead. Yep. Which we haven't seen, but mm. add it to the list. Add it to the list. Nightmares, assaults, serial murders, robberies, <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Mm. Oh, boy. You're a cacao talk with no friend. I don't have anything to do with you. And again, we have some serious wordplay here. Okay. This term means I don't have any occasion to see something or someone where this word is an event or an occasion. Number two, but this word can also be one, Kakao Talk is a messenger app widely used in Korea. You have a one yep. notification when you have an incoming message or there is one person in the chat who did not read a message. You're a Kakao Talk with no friend. You have no one to see. Wow. Yeah, you, you don't see a one. You don't see a one or literally you have no one. You have nobody. You nobody. Have no one. Yeah. Or number three, related to number one. I'm sorry if we're losing your army. I, I'm losing yeah. myself, Jared. And the next line, to do one's business is also used as to use the bathroom. Okay, you gotta do your business. Okay. All right, a whole lot of wordplay, man. Yeah. Can't keep up. I don't even know if we're supposed to keep up. <laughs> Did you already pee your pants? Sorry, there's no bathroom. I command now. Mm. Put the mic down and stand up. You're just lowly because you're a silly nonsense. Okay. And the wordplay here, you're just lowly because you're a silly nonsense. You just be a fabric because you don't have a thread. 
Okay. You're, hmm. you're just a fabric because you don't have a thread. Are they saying that that is synonymous with you're just lowly because you're a silly nonsense? Yeah, I think it's wordplay. Okay. But I'm trying to understand when he says you just be a fabric because you don't have a thread. Wouldn't a fabric be? be made of thread? Right. I don't know. Boss we'll we'll just let best. that, we'll let that sit there and maybe we'll come back to it. Okay. Maybe not. I push you away because I hate you so much. Mm. I'm pretty good at sewing. I put my words into action. Thread. And looks like we did come back to it pretty quickly. <laughs> Wordplay. I'm pretty good at sewing. I put my words into action. I'm pretty good at sewing. I do thread and fabric. I do thread and fabric. Oh, hold up, hold up. Thread. When you make something out of thread, yeah. it's different than making something out of fabric. I don't know, Jordan. I'm not a I'm not into this this area, Jordan. Thread versus fabric. Real quick. Let's search it up. Okay. It says the making of fabric. Yarn can be used to make fabrics or textiles, but threads are only used for sewing. Mm. So there's a question, is a thre is thread a fabric? Thread is a type of yarn, but similarly used for sewing. It can be made of many different materials, including cotton, wool, linen, nylon, and silk. Jared, you don't even question these things. You just throw on a shirt and you don't even think. Now, when you're sculpting, yes, you have to think of these things. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. I mean, you choose to. You choose to. And RM chose to. Yeah. Thank you, RM, for educating us. I growl now. You're in a bit of danger. Mm. And I just have to say, when he said growl, yeah. I think in the song he actually growled. Really? Yeah. You just do a kite. I told you, there's no thread. You go up mm. into the sky, go up and get torn apart. F it. You suck. I forgot you. And mm. the reference here is to a song by You Suck. Yeah. Titled, I Forgot You which doesn't appear to be available on YouTube anymore. Okay. Uh, Jusuk is a Korean hip hop musician, producer, who was one of the most influential artists in the mm. Korean hip hop scene in the early 2000s. However, he had many controversies after the mid 2000s that involved Tiger JK of Drunken Tiger and Tableau of Epic High. Both are openly close to him and admired by RM and got his driver's license revoked for a DUI in 2013. Mm. He rose to fame, went up to the sky like a kite, but ruined his own name without a thread and got torn apart. So that's where the reference comes in. This artist rose to fame. He went up to the sky like a kite, yeah, but ruined his own name. And they say without a thread, and got torn apart. So that's what RM says up here, Jared. He says, you just do a kite. I yeah. told you, there's no thread. You go up into the sky, go up and get torn apart. And then he references, F it, Josuk, I forgot you. Jared, he doesn't Oh, just, hold yes, up. Hold exactly. Up, hold up. He's, saying, he's saying, F it, I, I forgot you because you already rose up. Holy. <laughs> Jared, no, 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 no. Not only that, it doesn't stop there. What, look, look. Jusuk. Yeah. You already rose up. You you got torn apart. Yeah. But I forgot you. I forgot you. That's the, the name, name of the of song. Your song. And I forgot you. I guys. forgot you. I don't even remember any of you guys. I forgot I you. I am the one flying on top of the man who's flying. So he names Jusik. He names somebody, ah. Jordan. And he uses it to sculpt a larger metaphor metaphor and this yes and it, oh my god you can't sculpt it any better <laughs> Jared, drake's song back to back yeah is so well sculpted in yeah. that whole this layout he had charged up he had a song before that i think but then he had back to back yeah and in between it's called back to back because when he was beefing with meek mill we were waiting we were waiting for meek to drop yeah yeah hey this uh i'm going back to back he ended him. He ended it. Ugh. This is RM ending any of the other catfish looking long beards. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh boy. Oh, Jared. Uh, let's it's continue. It's too much. My voice, my hegemony. My hegemony or my hegemony? I never know how to pronounce that word. I've raised them all from one to ten. Oh. I put the entire world on my tongue. Ugh. I play in the big water. Mm -hmm. I ain't spitting loche on the CD or TV. Ooh. You can see me, envy me. It's a pity. GG. Yeah. I'll, uh. I'm a monster. I rap with a prospect. Yeah, I rap with a mindset. I'm a suspect. Sucker, where your rhymes at, you lines at. I'm the king. I'm the god. So where my emperors at? I parachute on my Neverland. Perhaps a Michael Jackson reference. Ooh. I'm a Peter Pan. So this will never end. You know, when I ride on my G5, you sit first class and satisfy. And I keep giggling, keep giggling, keep jiggling. <laughs> Bring your booking mic. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Blindly possessed youngs full of pride and weird conviction. They get astonished by my eight bars. B I just had to add that in for RM. <laughs> he rapped in English here. It looks like it. Or a, a mixture of both. At the end, it looks like he added some Korean in. But Jared, this part of the, the, uh, the song, when you hear it, on the CD, but his flow is wow. almost as good, if not better, than what he's actually saying. Yeah, I don't even know how the flow goes anymore. On the CD or the TV, you can see me envy me. It's a pity, GG. Like it just, he just, and it hits us more. We always say this because he's rhyming in English, and to be able to do that so quickly always amazes us. When any American artist does that, or anybody who, who any artist who can speak English. Jared, no, 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 no. You, you can't sit up. <laughs> we have sugar. We haven't right, even begun. Right. This you're is right, how you right. felt after you heard RM's verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how is it possible? He's not done. Uh, how is, RM's not even done. How is it possible for lyrics to contribute to the feeling of being destroyed? Literally reading lyrics. We're no longer hearing the music. Jordan, we are reading lyrics. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel tired. My back hurts. I, I have that recurring danger headache. Yeah. And I don't know what to do right now. If you feel tired now, just wait. We're not even a sugar's verse, and we're not even halfway through the ciphers. Like, this is just... At this point, one thing I can tell you though is I'm having the time of my life. Oh, I love every minute of it. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. Why? So good because my entire body and mind will be completely void. Oh, everything will have been sucked out. So it's not only a punch; it's like a, like a pulverization. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't exist if you were pulverized, Jared. <laughs> It's like a tube that goes down your throat and cleans out your stomach. Yeah. You have nothing left in your stomach or your body. That's what these words are. They're spitting down our throats. That sounds disgusting, but that's what they're doing. Yeah. Can we finish RM so we can get to uh, sugars? Yes. Okay. Let me finish RM. <sighs> Old caterpillars. The, the, the dirty. Let me give you this beat. Give it a try. You p -p pests. Talk when you can actually rap. You should be forbidden from rapping by law. By law, you should be for, for uh, forbidden. <sighs> and mm. then we have J-Hope. Yes. A little bridge or segue into Sugar's verse. Yeah. So J-Hope says, once again, because of whom? Because of J-Hope. Because of whom? Because of Ratman. Again, because of whom? Because of Sugar. Mm. Three of us gathered. Shout the new generation. Because of whom? Because of J Hope, because of whom, because of Ratman, again, because of whom, because of Sugar. On this beat, the next hitter raps. <laughs> okay. Jared? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't even know. I Let's just dig in. Okay, I, at okay. this point, Sugar says, My domain is dopeman.com. I scolded many with my mic. Your speech and actions are like shackles. Mm. 
The name of my charge is assault with tongue. I like that line. I love it. That that stuck out to me, I think. Mm. I I think. I, I can't remember. You know, during the lyric video, I, that sounds somewhat familiar. Yeah. Assault. We hear a lot of, you know, what the group can do with their tongues, especially the rap line. Yeah. RM said, I have the, the world on my tongue. Mm. Like I'm assaulting you, literally, like with my words. Yeah. Full of piety. You're born believer since birth. And it says there's wordplay here. Sugar used this wordplay in Cypher part one as well. Wait a minute. We didn't hear Sugar in Cypher part one, did we? All right, now I'm tripping, Jared. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Jared. So after looking up the lyrics again <laughs> for Cypher one, we made what they call a slight Boo boo. We made an oopsie. An oopsie. It was so slight the transition from J Hope to Sugar yes. that it sounded like it was J Hope. Yeah. And Dual Set doesn't provide the breakdown for, you know, who's rapping at what point. Yeah. So Sugar actually came in at the part where he said, I haven't served my military duty, but my hobby is sniping. And oh my goodness, um, now I'm thinking about that in lieu of their enlistment, announcement to enlist in the military. Yeah. I haven't served my military duty yet, but my hobby is sniping. You're just thinking about that? Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the military duty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like my head is scrambled right now, Jerry. Uh, this is what happens when our heads get scrambled. We think that J-Hope's rapping what Sugar's <laughs> really rapping... Jordan, again, we're lost in this ocean of bars and we're trying to stay afloat. Yeah. Can we just listen to Sugar's verse in Cypher 1 real quick? Yes. Because we we missed that that was Sugar. Yes. Mm, we should have known because he says what he yeah says, yeah so we can now attribute those genius <sighs> bars to sugar jordan the 4k yeah. line right the sniper line yep the born rapper the mentor memento line the ip address line yeah yeah they do sound similar oh yeah j-hope and sugar there sounded exactly alike to me and that's where color-coded lyrics probably would have come in handy yeah but and there was no real break right between j-hope and sugar yep okay so we're gonna jump back to where we were jared yeah. In the Cypher 2 lyrics. Okay. And try to finish these out, if that's even possible. So Sugar says here, full of piety, you're born believer since birth. And there's wordplay. It says Sugar used this wordplay in Cypher Part 1 as well. This word, can't do, is pronounced mote. Literally meaning inside mother's womb. Mm. Is used when someone is a born something a common example would be this word which means a born believer but what this line is meant to mean is really from when you were born you can't do anything mm. all right full of piety you're born believer since birth literally meaning inside of was mother's womb didn't we get this a little bit in Cypher 1? Yeah. Like, I, it, that's what he said. Yeah. It's the same wordplay he used in Cypher Part 1. Got it. Similar themes uh, repeated over and over again because for some reason, the haters still aren't comprehending. <laughs> yeah. In, in Cypher 1, he says, I never changed. From when I was born, I was a born rapper. Yes. Okay. 
If you're going to be a crybaby on this beat, just go home early. The word play slash censoring here says that this word is go home early from school or work, but he actually raps this word, literally meaning become a which means get fucked up. Hmm. So if you're going to be a crybaby on this beat, get fucked up. Uh, yeah. Or go home early. Become a d. Mm. Oh. Mm. Look at those stubborn, preachy hip hop oldies with their stiff necks. Now he's directing it <laughs> towards the radio station interview. Ah, uh, yes. Or any hip hop old heads who try to counsel or give advice to. Yeah. Or criticize BTS. Stiff necks. Mm. When you play underground, BTS plays above ground. It says that you equals underground rappers who denigrate BTS for being a hip hop idol. Mm. RM said the same thing in the beginning of, was it Cypher 1? Where he said, hip hop idol, stop yeah. that ish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I believe Cypher 1. Uh, again, <laughs> the ocean is large, Jordan, so it may have been the beginning of Cypher 2, but I believe that was Cypher 1. Okay, he continues, compared to you who slept through all night, I'm workerholic, shopperholic. Mm. I overconsumed pens more than your fans and went all in. When I kicked the ball, goal in. Goal in. I'm balling. I puke when I listen to your rap. My voice, which bewitches even your girlfriend, gets them horny. Oof. The studio is my playground and my partners are pen and paper. Ooh. You thinking my courtesy is your right should quickly put your mic down. If I'm the sun, you're the moon. You revolve around me is that correct it's been a while so from what i remember from high school yeah the earth is revolving around the sun right yeah and the moon is revolving around the earth and therefore the moon is also revolving around the sun interesting so if sugar is the sun and you're the moon you're revolving around sugar. I'm the sun. I'm like the, the big giant. I'm the guy. Yeah. You're not the earth. No. You're even smaller than the earth. Yeah. You're, you're the moon. You're revolving around someone else and you're revolving around <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. All right, Jerry, you want to pick it up here? And Okay. I mean, this is this just doesn't end. Sugar continues, because when I rise, you fall. Okay, so we took it as the metaphor getting into revolving around. We should just we should just keep reading. Yeah, That's, we should just stop trying to analyze mid bar. Yeah. And just let it flow. Because they tell us. Because when I rise, you fall. Yeah. When the sun rises, <sighs> the moon falls. How sim how much more I like that uh metaphor yeah. better. Yeah, we're trying to read too deeply into these things. Yeah. You judging the value of hip hop. And the reference here is a reference to TV show Authentic Masterpiece is a TV show where people bring their family treasures and have experts appraise them. Mm. Okay, you judging the value of hip hop. Step down from the bubbles. Hey, you mischievous boys. Your mischievous raps are just whining about your lives and the wordplay here is that mischievous i hope i'm pronouncing that right mischievous mischievous uh in korean can be a satori variation of this term which is a combination of dog or a prefix meaning very and this term which means bad in quality or stinky. Mm. What's it saying? 
if you look at the word mischievous, the word for mischievous in Korean, yeah, it's I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but there's two pieces. It's a combination of the first part, which means dog, or a prefix meaning very, and the last piece means bad. So he's saying your very bad yeah. or stinky raps are just whining about your lives. Got it. Okay. But the word the word means mischievous. Wow. In English. There's so much meaning. So much meaning. Because I'm starting to learn, Jared, words and phrases are often combined. Yeah. Like creating a super word. Yes. Yes. Like this is you don't have many of those in English. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> yeah. The time you've waited for, go take some rest. Mm. You go to Hawaii, go home. And you go to Hawaii is a famous line from a 2001 film, Friend. Be free, grew up in Hawaii. I love it. I love it. I love it. Again, sculpting. Sculpting. Jordan, this is master sculptory. Research. Digging. <laughs> Into battle rapping. This is what this is. Battle rapping. Oh. Except, I, do you hear anything from Beef Freezer? <laughs> Not a sound. Watch how far I go. I plow the rotten roots out completely. A big upset when no one expected a decisive win. Mm. When you just whine without trying and play while making excuses that you're doing music, look for more part-time jobs. Mm. And the note here reads, be free, dissed BTS for being an idol and gets financial support from the agency, explaining how he had to have part-time jobs to wow. sustain his living. But we know that Yoongi himself also had financially tough times and had a part-time job while going to school and practicing as a trainee. Okay, so perhaps Yungi is leaving this line a, a bit more broad in interpretation. This isn't broad. <laughs> I mean, this is as direct as it gets. I understand. Yeah. I, I think he's he's speaking from experience. Like, he can say this because he did used to work part-time mm, jobs. Mm. But he's saying, you, you better look for some part-time jobs because you're going to need them. Yeah, you're right. You just whine without even trying and play while making excuses that you're doing music, uh, right? And, and look if, for more part-time jobs. And man. if we look at this next line, it's probably not worth trying with your short and thin career. Don't even try. Your career's short, your career's thin. It's time to look for some part-time jobs. Mm. I love it. I love the directness, because yeah. you don't often get that. You know, Sugar is putting the final screw in by directing all of his animosity towards be free uh, and deservedly soldier yeah <laughs> like these guys deserved what came to them but you know what i love the most about all of this in that interview jordan you remember the way rm responded several of the other members were you know just silently sitting taking it in rm responded with grace right Mm -hmm. With complete grace and respect. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and then afterwards, Jordan, this is where you get it out. You let your rapping do the job for you. Okay. Thank you for giving me the juice to go create this sculpture. And even further, I'll prove it. Yeah, I don't think he said that to them, but he said it in an interview. Yeah. I'll prove it, Jordan. Like, there's no better way of proving it. No. And when they prove it, they come for the kill. And we're not done. But make sure you survive and continue to rot. Ooh. <sighs> Torture. Again. Your name tags probably will be a life like an amateur. Your raps are... Anabata. And the note here reads, as explained in Paldo Gangstan, or Paldo Gang 
San. I think that's another song. Yeah, another BTS song. Yeah. yeah. So as explained in this song, this term is a campaign whose name is a short form of be frugal, share, exchange, and reuse. The campaign dates back to 1998, a year after the financial crisis of 1997. Hmm. Okay, what's Anabata mean? Is that the term? The campaign that they're talking about? Anabata. Can you look that word up? Yeah. Okay, so Anabata must be the name mm. of the campaign or gold collecting campaign, uh, which according to Wikipedia was the national sacrificial movement in early 1998 to repay its debt to the International Monetary Fund. Okay. Okay. So they had debt. Yeah. $304 billion in foreign exchange debt. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Sugar continues, you who use someone else's flow that was used frugally and shared and yet again reuses it. The note here reads, here he explains that used frugally, used by sharing, used something received from someone else and using again. What does he explain? So he's still referencing the campaign. Yeah. Because it says be frugal, share, exchange, and reuse. That yeah. was the slogan or of the campaign. Yeah. Or name of the campaign, essentially. Yeah. So he's saying you who uses someone else's flow Got that it. was used frugally. Frugally. Does that mean like modestly? Yeah. And shared and yet again reuses it. Mm. Yeah, I'm a bit confused on what exactly he's trying to explain. Here yeah. he explains that used frugally, used by sharing, and used something received from someone else. Or maybe maybe we should keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Korean language, Jordan, the beauty of the Korean language. Yeah. Sugar says, hey, b you should know your shame. My 24 bars make you lie down sick. Compared to your frame, your rap is fragile. Ooh. As if I'm your parent, my heart aches whenever I see you because you're so fragile. I draw the period onto the artery of your music career. Whoa. And he just is leaves that, it is there. That, that's the that's how the song ends. That's the end of it, Jared. Oh, 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 oh. And look, down here we have a period. A period. <laughs> a legend. I draw a the period. period on the artery of your music career. Now, there's not any more notes here. No. To describe the wordplay here. But by period, does he mean grammar? Does he mean a period? Because we are talking about an artery, Jared. Yeah. I... What's the first artery you think of in the human body? I don't, I don't think of, I don't know. I, I think of blood. I, you think of blood. I think of the aorta, Jordan. Explain. The aorta. That's an artery? Is an artery within the heart. And it's one of the largest arteries, I believe. One of the most important arteries. Can we look up the aorta quick? Okay. What, did you go to medical school? Jared? No, 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 no. Okay. The aorta is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. Ah. The blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve. Then it travels through the aorta, making a cane-shaped curve that allows other major arteries to deliver oxygen-rich blood to the brain, muscles, and other cells. The aorta artery is perhaps the most important artery in the body. Yeah. The main artery. Yeah. So that's where my mind went when Sugar says artery. I draw the period onto the artery of your music career. Yeah. I draw the period though. So he's he's literally drawing a period. Yeah, Jordan, look. Period. Done. You're finished. But so he's like he's clogging that artery. There you go. Is the period clogging the artery? That's how I take it. 
that I mean that line is so yeah. Again, we we could go on for days, Jordan. But uh, the artery of your music career. What is the artery of your music career? What is it? Anybody can have a music career. Yeah. The blood can still be flowing. You can yes. still be making stuff. You can yes. still be directing your energy towards me. Yeah, yeah. Is the artery your tongue? You know what I mean? What what no, is the I most important the... Uh, organ the, I got you. or thing needed for a successful music career? You know what it is? What? Respect. Ooh. Pride. Ah. Those are the arteries. There's many different arteries, Jerry. Status. Status, but a deeper sense of respect. I mean, they ended their own music careers when they disrespected BTS. Mm. He just put the period on it. Like, that's not a respectable thing to do in the long run. It may get you some cool points at first. Yeah. Saying some slick things, directing your negative energy, criticizing what Suge and them just did here, Jared. And we didn't even talk about the flow, right? They all literally just drew the period onto the artery of everybody's music careers who criticize them. Sculpting is the perfect word for this. We've made it through two ciphers, Jordan. Yeah. Hmm. Can we give the rap line a round of applause? Let's do it. Like, what? Incredible. And while you're at it, Jordan, give yourself a round of applause. For what? Give yourself a round of applause because you made it. Yeah, you, we made it. You made Halfway. It. This is intermission. We made it. And give yourself another round of applause, Jared. You kept swimming. Jordan, one more round of applause. For what? One more round of applause. Because, I mean, we came close, but we didn't crash into the person who was flying who RM was on top of. We didn't crash into him, <laughs> Jordan. Oh, Jared, one last round of applause. Yeah. One last one. Uh, we didn't lose our compass. We made our way back, everybody. Yeah, this is incredible, man. This is incredible. Um, I, I'm feeling like I have a stiff neck and I'm not even a hip hop old DJ. Like, I feel like this adds references for days. Yeah. Like once, once we get through the rest of these ciphers, you have these references for days and things make so much more sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. What's the plan, Jared? The plan is we're about to listen to Cypher 3, Jordan. Are you ready? I'm ready. And we already listened to it one time live in Busan, which many people yes. have told us that RM said or maybe referenced that that would be the last time they would perform Cypher 3. Yeah. And that j-hope changed up his lyrics in cypher three to direct them towards was it j-hope i think it was j-hope okay. i think they said j-hope specifically maybe some of the other members yeah but i thought somebody said j-hope i could be wrong but yeah last time performing possibly that song ever and uh and there's a reason they chose cypher three right <laughs> they didn't choose cypher one two or four mm. they chose cypher three why is that i don't know should we find out? I think so. Okay. So, Jared, this is what we're going to do. Tell me. Being that Cyphers 1 and 2 took us so long to get through, yeah. break down and analyze, we're going to watch Cyphers Part 3 and Part 4 on Patreon. Yes. And everybody, you can find that video right now for free. You can go watch it for free. You don't need to be a patron to watch it. Head on over to patreon.com slash Jared and Jordan BTS to continue watching us lose our minds. And don't forget, you can also find the highly requested Cypher Medley and multiple different live performances in a separate video on Patreon. And V's performance, Jordan. I'm sorry, can't forget about your guy. We cannot forget about that. V performed his ass off oh my gosh okay jared it's the cypher live experience yes 
We'll leave it at that. Check it out for yourselves. Two videos are on Patreon right now. Head on over. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you over there, everybody. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, you are surely going to enjoy the rest of this experience. So head on over to Patreon right now, everybody. Leave a like on this video if you can. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. But most importantly, be kind and keep an open mind, everybody. Peace.